reaction to the president's comments because you've got to be sure that you can do what you say you're going to do. The great leaders that I've seen, they don't threaten unless they are ready to act. Yeah. And I'm not sure that President Trump is ready to act. Okay, Senator John McCain criticizing President Trump's latest comment, saying he's not acting like previous presidents. Uh, my next guest thinks that that's actually wrong. He should know. He's a presidential historian. Doug Weed uh, joins me now. It's, I, I'm excited to have you here to get your perspective on this. Thanks, um, Cheryl. Other leaders, we had uh, General McInerney mention Ronald Reagan. Have other leaders throughout history done the same thing as, as President Trump is doing today? Oh, yes, they've talked strong. Of course, uh, Reagan did when he said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And when he called uh, the Soviet Union the evil empire, uh, the liberals went crazy. They were frightened by this talk. But strong leaders do speak, but they follow up with action. John McCain's right. They follow up with action. You know, even Senator Lindsey Graham say, you know, saying that the U.S. hasn't taken enough action against North Korea. It's time to try a new tactic with them. Do you agree with what Senator Graham is saying? And, and do you think the U.S. should be taking action, maybe even a preemptive strike against North Korea? I agree with uh, Lindsey Graham, too. And, you know, I love John McCain. It breaks my heart, this latest diagnosis uh, for McCain. Mm -hmm. uh, and my uh, step-uncle was Robbie Reisner, who was his senior officer in those POW camps. So I care for him. But this is not a good moment for him. And he's come back to the Senate and taken this vote and now publicly disagreeing with Trump as commander-in-chief. It reminds me of Truman, who was very unpopular in the 30s when he waited for Douglas MacArthur to circle around that the tarmac and land and Harry Truman said to Douglas MacArthur and I love Douglas MacArthur I'm named after him <laughs> but he said to Douglas MacArthur don't you ever make your commander-in-chief wait for you again whatever you think of Harry Truman and that's what I would say to Senator John McCain whatever you think about Donald Trump maybe he insulted you but we're in a crisis right now mm. we need unity and we need you to act like like a soldier, it's, it's not a tough. senator. It's tough, though. I have so much respect uh, and admiration for Senator McCain, one of the Me first too. people I met when I actually moved to New York. And he, you know, he's kind of sticking with his truth, if you will. He's always been critical of, of President Trump, and he's just not changing his stripes, and that's his prerogative, I guess. But, you know, even Jimmy Carter, the, the former president, claims if, you know, that he convinced North Korea to freeze the, the nuclear program. And Bill Clinton supported it, sent $4 billion in energy aid to North Korea. The North Korea violates the deal from the start. Now they've got nuclear weapons and the ballistic missiles that can maybe hit Alaska. You know, are, do you think that President Carter, President Clinton are partially, partially, excuse me, responsible for the escalation we're seeing today? Yes, and President Obama and President George W. Bush. It reminds me of just before the Civil War, we had a long string of terrible presidents who kept kicking the can down the road on slavery. They just would not make a decision until it was forced on Abraham Lincoln. And the crisis we're experiencing today is being forced on Donald Trump because presidents didn't make decisions. And it applies economically as well with Social Security and other issues that loom uh, and could destroy us as a nation economically. But it's a terrible crisis with North Korea, and it could have been resolved when it was small. Yeah, well, here we are. All right, Doug, thank you very much. Thanks, Cheryl.